to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It is Saturday, and that means it's time for another mail call. Mac, what do we do on a Saturday? Open car! Ah, open car. So today, I've got a package from Jay Harvey. And if you don't know Jay and his brother, um, they are one of the online sellers for the Facebook Live groups. So. Um, these were all auction purchases that were part of that Facebook Live event. <gasps> what are those? Cars. Cars. Look at those cars. So Jay knows that I do this with Get my it. boys, with my kids, and I, I think he sent me a couple extra little things for Mac. Look at that. Look, what are those, Mac? Cars. I know what kind of cars. That's a that's, race car. That's a truck and that's a race car. There's two race cars. Yeah, wow, those are cool. And we got a, what's this one? That's a PT Cruiser. And these are all Matchbox. That's pretty cool. Can you say thank you, Jay? Thank you, Jay. Yeah, so should we see what else we got in here? Yeah. Yeah, the old ones down at the bottom, those are dads. All right. Let me see, up first. Here. What do we got? What is that? It's a crane, yeah. This is a pretty good looking crane. I've got a few of these models, um, but this one came up in the auction and it just looked to be almost perfect. I mean, there's not a not a chigger, not a ding, dent, scratch, missing paint, nothing on this. This is just incredible, uh, good quality model. The plastic on the bottom, I mean the wheels, this looks like it's never been played with. So uh, this is definitely going to take over as my best copy of this model. And sometimes that's when you're starting to collect, that's a really good way to approach it. Um, you know, in the beginning you're just kind of trying to fill holes. Um, I don't have one of these. This one's a decent price. I'm going to get it. Uh, after a while, you start caring about really what the quality is on them. Careful, Mac. We don't want to drop them. So this is another crane. Um, this is a, a different variant of the first one. Um, also, exceptionally good quality. Um, a few little dings up here on the top. And it looks like little goobers of some kind of history down in there. Um, this has the yellow tow hook, and uh, I'm not sure if the hooks are reproductions or original, but they're both in really good shape. So um, that fills out uh, all my variations of this one, so that completes that set for me. Um, and these two came up very reasonably priced in the auction, and so I went ahead and grabbed them both. I will say, most of these auctions, the thing I really like about them is that they start out, um, almost all of them, a uh, bidding price of like a dollar to two dollars. Uh, maybe something's really nice, it might start at three to five dollars, but everything is super reasonable. Um, and you're, you're bidding against the other, you know, 15, 18, 20 people um, that are there. And everybody who's there is pretty much a, a collector. Um, and so we, we all kind of know what an acceptable price is for most of these models. Um, and there's uh, an enormous amount of respect uh, between collectors. So a lot of times somebody will say, you know, this is the last one I need. This completes my collection, that sort of thing. And, um, you know, most, most of the time we make sure that they get that model. So here we've got a cattle truck. This is the uh, number 37 in the Matchbox series. Um, I've done a couple of these. Uh, I've, I've got quite a few. This one had some uh, interesting variations on it. And most importantly, it has a complete intact rear box. It's missing the cattle on the inside. I've got a couple sets of the original cows um, in a, a box that's been glued. So I might kind of go through those, take the best of what I've got, and complete one really nice mint original set. So. Another really nice model, um, and I think you know, on most of these, I want to say I paid between three and five dollars for for these models. 
Oh, I spoke too soon. Look what's in the little bag here. So, I've got kind of a miscellaneous grab here. There's a... Uh, there's some wheels. Those look like king size wheels. Set those aside for right now. And here's my cattle. So I don't remember if those were in it or not. Um, if Jay just included those for me, I really appreciate it. That's that's awesome. So here we go. We've got the cattle. This one here. You also notice. I think. Anytime you buy from a collector or people that are very familiar with these and the value of these, um, you notice how nicely these are wrapped and protected to make sure that nothing happens to them. And I think that's pretty common with, with most of the uh, Facebook sellers. They're all really good. So this is really interesting because here you can see uh, the differences in the plastic color and some of those variations in these two, these two models. So. Again, it's nice to have a couple of uh, different dates, different time periods on these. Um, and these are both in really, really good shape. So, excited to add those to the collection. Let's see what else we got in here. All right, got a little bit bigger box here. Number nine, cabin cruiser and trailer. Hold on, Mac, hold on. We'll do that one next, okay? So, those of you that uh, follow the channel and have subscribed, you know I'm a sucker for boxes. I love original boxes. And uh, this one came up. I've got a couple of these in the collection. I'm down now where I'm kind of looking for some of the variations. Um, the plastics on the boats came in a few different colors. Um, there is a bright blue, like what is pictured on the box, and I've got a couple of those. But uh, this one came up, and this is one of the uh, variations in the plastic colors. This is the green cruiser, and I didn't have one of those yet. Um, this one's in pretty good shape. Um, it is all original. The, uh, the trailer appears to have some kind of a sticky something on it. And this this happened with a few different um, lines in these Matchbox models. This is not the first time I've come across this where this paint has like a sticky texture to it. Um, in this case, you know, I bought this because of the green boat and the original box. I've got easily a half a dozen of these trailers in the collection, so um, not a concern for me. And again, if I can pick up something boxed, for uh, under $10, I'm gonna grab it almost every time. Because to me, the box itself is worth $10. So um, that was a great buy, great find, and uh, also fills another hole in the collection. And then, what else do I got in the box? Let's see what this is. Oh, this was the uh, giveaway. So occasionally, this is one of the things I like about the auctions that uh, Jay and his brother do. Um, they do uh, just a giveaway, and everybody that's on, everybody that's listening to the auction, um, they say, you know, pick a number between one and 50, and they write it down on a sheet of paper. We all guess a number, and then uh, when it comes up, whoever's the closest to it um, gets a random car um, for free. Uh, you have to have bid on something, you have to have won an auction in order to be able to guess. Um, so it kind of encourages people to participate, but. Uh, this is really cool. Um, I don't usually, I, I don't collect any of the modern Matchbox and I don't do the super fast. Um, most of the newer stuff ends up going to the little one here. Um, but this is, this is really neat. It's got a lot of detail like most of the Matchbox do. A little Alfa Romeo. Um, and I think this was my giveaway win. And it's got the original Matchbox box, so that's pretty cool too. Number 30 of 75, Alfa Romeo. Very neat. Go back to our box here. I think the last item, 
from this auction. I kind of hinted at it earlier with the uh, super fast wheels. This is something I've been after for a while. Um, I kind of started, really I started picking up king size like, like you start any collection. I found one that was a good price and I bought it and then you get two, you got a pair and then you get three and you have a collection. So um, I've got started getting into these a little bit. Uh, I have the orange variation of the car hauler. Um, the, the yellow one is um, a little bit harder to find. And every time these come Mom. up, they seem to go for, you know, 80 to $100 if they're in mint or close to mint original condition. This one is far from that. Um, you know, it's pretty rough. It's got a lot of, a lot of edge wear, a lot of play wear. It does have most of the original decals intact, which is kind of nice. Um, beautiful little survivor piece and uh, this is what all of these king size wheels are for so they go on this this model and I think if I remember right I think I paid ten dollars for this piece in the auction um, and that really is a, a bargain for for this piece um, like I said I've got the orange one so this fills out a hole, um, and I'll keep looking. I'm sure I can find a better one. They do come up periodically. I think uh, Finsky's had a, a pair, one of the yellow, one of the orange, um, in their auction just a few weeks back, and uh, it sold for what you would expect them to sell for. Um, but this is a really nice piece, um, and it, I believe this is a transitional piece um, because usually the yellow car carriers had a yellow cab that went with them. The orange car carriers had the green cab, but when they changed from the orange to the yellow, there were a few sets like this made that had the uh, the newer yellow back, but had the older green cabs still. So I think this is a, a transitional piece um, in the changeover from the orange to the yellow. So that also makes this really cool in my book and uh, probably a reason that I will keep this as is. So that's going to do it for our mailbag this week. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. Uh, subscribe to follow us and uh, join us next week for another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration.